Hey, P5 Live gives you a live version of your P5GS sketching. A live version means that each time you press the play button on your P5GS editor, then the live version will be automatically refreshed and reloaded to show the latest changes. Let me do a quick demo. So if I move my face down there and I start this sketch, so this is a P5GS sketch, and I press the play button, I'm seeing whatever I coded there, which is a bowl bouncing around the canvas. If you load this version within P5GS by giving your username and your sketch ID that you can find in the URL of your sketch, you press the load button, you're redirected to a dedicated URL for your sketch, that is a live version of your sketch. And what the live version allows you to do is that if you want to do a changer and see how it will look like on your devices to iterate quickly, you just do a change. You're changing the code, you press the play button, and you see that your bowl here, in that case, I doubled the diameter of my bowl, and you see that on the right, I didn't click any reload button, but my sketch has been reloaded. So this is really useful when you're developing, for example, for different devices at the same time, a smartphone, a tablet, or an interactive screen in an art exhibition that could be you know, higher up on the ceiling or hidden behind protected equipment, which makes it much harder to access and reload and press the reload button on all these devices while you are developed. So that's why I made P5 Live. At the moment, it's not fully integrated within P5 GS Editor. So the only thing you have to do is to add this 10 to 12 live on co of code in the very beginning of your sketch.gs, which uh, you can copy and paste it from the readme file, which simply tells, uh, send the, you know, the reload message for those pages to start again. Thank you for watching. I hope you make good use of that. And go uh, see on the P5 website to try and encourage them to integrate that within the editor.